Hey guys, Chris and PJ here live in the Dream Giveaway Garage. Hello, Christopher. Hello, PJ. Monday today. Monday. What did you do this weekend, oh, PJ? Oh, it was a busy weekend. Was it? Yeah, I'm glad to be back to work. Absolutely. <laughs> you know what I did this weekend, guys? I went peach picking. Peach picking in Florida. Peach picking in Florida. They're not big, but they're yummy. And do we ever have a peach for you guys? <laughs> uh, you didn't think I was going to put that together that quick, did you, PJ? Chris, what are we looking at? 1971 Super B. What is this part of what giveaway here? It just sort of, you know, it's what all the buzz is about, PJ. Oh, a 1971. <laughs> 1971 Super B. This is half of the grand prize package in our brand new Super B Dream Giveaway. This is so exciting. I've got to tell you about it. <clears throat> the winner. And it might be you, Larry West. <laughs> or might Ro be you, Roger. That's right. Might even be Lexi if Lexi ever shows up again. Uh, we'll win a 71 Charger Super B. Only year that they, ever, that they did the Super B on the Charger body. And I got to tell you, and yes, I love the 69 and a half lift off hood Super B. But there is something so incredibly cool, something so incredibly classic, and something so incredibly painted the high impact color of butterscotch about the 71 Dodge Super B. All of them came with a minimum of a 383 Magnum engine. Yes, you could get a 440 with it. Yes, you could get a Hemi with it, a super rare. But the standard engine was that big block 383. Yeah, uh, who's out there today? Well, Roger says great charger pair launch. Absolutely. Oh, I can't even wait to talk about the second part of this. Right. Uh, let's see here. Joe says, oh my goodness, truly my dream car. My first was a third gen charger. Yeah. Uh, third, hold on, third gen charger. So 66 and 67 are first gen. 68 to 70 or second gen. So a 71 has got to be third gen, right? Or, or beyond, right? Or, well, or beyond, what, what was the last year of the Charger? 74, 75? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, actually, the, Dodge did some weird things with that Charger name throughout the 70s. And did they even call an Omni? Did they tack the name Charger onto an Omni in the 80s? Now, Chris, you said this is a 383 Magnum. Can we see the engine? Of course you can. So I got to get my hand all the way back here. TJ for that says, latch. let's see the motor. Yeah. Oh, look at this. What is look going at on this. In here? Look at this bad boy. That's an air grabber hood you're looking at. Yeah, I was going to say, wait a minute. Look at all that. Yeah. Pontiac uh, vernacular, that would be called a ram air hood, but Dodge called it an air grabber hood. You can see that nice 383 there. This car, from what I've read, was built in California. Nice options on it. I was restored. Uh, but lots of paperwork on it, so it's got the broadcast sheets, it's got the owner's manual. Everybody who owned this car knew it was something special from day one. And we're just so excited that this is half of the grand prize in the Super B Dream Giveaway. Uh, Joe says 1975 was the fourth gen. Uh, 75 was the fourth gen, yeah, I, I remember that. It wasn't a very popular car in 75. So Chris, what's going on back here? Is this just a lot of uh, different parts that they put in there? Here, let's look like at buttons and... What we've got going on there, that looks to be some sort of ignition box, doesn't it? Am I wrong on that, guys? Isn't that an ignition box? And of course, that's the windshield wiper motor there. You've got a uh, power assist on the brakes. You've got power steering. And here, You've got the vacuum line. That looks like that's the vacuum line for the air grabber hood. Air grabber hood is vacuum operated, not electrically operated. In 1971. A lot of space in here, A lot too. of space in here. So if you don't have a six-pack there, you can put your six-pack here, right? <laughs> <laughs> Larry West says looks like an electronic ignition. That's what it looks like to me, Larry. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot going on in here. Yeah. And th this is so cool. Original uh, decal is still with it here. I did uh, emissions control decal right there. And I love the color. It is a high impact color. 
Just like Plum Crazy or Panther Pink. Kind of matches your shirt today, Or Go Chris. Mango. It totally <laughs> matches my shirt. <laughs> I didn't plan that, guys. Uh, this high impact color is called Butterscotch. So here's what's really cool. We're giving away so many uh, cool mo Mopars right now in the Dream Giveaway Garage. We have the Citron Yellow Demon 340 way over there. And that's also from 1971. That's also a high impact color. But when we found this Super B, we said, how cool would it be if we give away a new Hellcat with kind of Super B inspired, along with the classic one year only Charger Super B. And it'll be a great two car package, kind of what we do with the Corvettes, right? An old Corvette and a new Corvette. So here's why the new one is not a Super B. And yes, they did make Super Bs in 2023. They are built on the Charger. They're only four doors. You can only get them in an SRT uh, 392 package. You cannot get them with a Hellcat engine. So instead, we special ordered a Hellcat, and we're going to be calling it the Hell B. Get it? Hellcat Super B Hell B. So a brand new Hellcat Charger with all the goodies that we put on our new Mopar products, along with this classic Mopar muscle machine. Two cars, one winner. It's our Super B Dream Giveaway. Really excited about this. Are we going to have a lot of super puns throughout this 11-month that, campaign? That's right. Who's going to count how many times we say the word super? Let's not do it today. <laughs> no, let's not do it. But let's do check out the front of this thing here and, and see what's going on inside. This is classic Mopar interior at, at its that, finest. Right. So you've got a black vinyl bench seat. You've got the four speed. Yeah, guys, I was saving that for you. Uh -huh. You got a factory pistol grip four speed. That's all you need, right? You got a big block, you got a four speed, you got an eight and three quarter rear end. You got mats here that say Super B on the. Yeah, and that wing. Anybody know what that wing is called on the back? Let's see if they can guess, PJ. The wing in the back here? Yes. It's not a. It has to do with propulsion. Did Anybody they, know what it's called? Did they also bring in a B category? Uh, yeah. No, it's not a B one. I love the 71 Super B. Anybody know what it's called? I'll go ahead and tell you guys. It's called the going. The go wing? Going. Because you're going and you're going and you're going. <laughs> it's the going. <laughs> I'm not making that up, PJ. It's not that very high, is it? No, no. <laughs> What a beautiful car. All right. Hey, how about I fire it up? Oh, you're going to fire up a cold fire it up? Fire it up. Did we do a fire it up on Friday? We didn't do it, did we? We had something else going on. Oh, <laughs> well, we, Riddler we, says, even though it's not Friday, can we fire it up? I'm going to do that right now. All here right, I'll get back here, then. We'll take a listen. Love it. Classic Mopar. Oh, that's got a nice purr to it. It does have a nice purr to it. Or should I say a sting? A nice bu uh, buzz, right? Yeah, A yeah. nice buzz to it. Right, that's what that bee's got. Look at these, some nice original Chrysler keys, it looks like to me. And everybody remember, you put the key in upside down on a classic Mopar, right? Okay, well, Larry wants to know, Larry Wilson wants to know, will the 23 be manual too? Probably not, right? No, because Dodge is not making manual Hellcats. Because the computer systems in there are just way no, they beyond. Can't, they can't build one strong enough to, to deal with that 717 horsepower. Now, if you have heard something different, that you can get a new Hellcat with a six-speed manual now, please let us know. And we'll, uh, after this call, we'll get on the phone to Dodge, and we'll see if we can change that order for you. So it's in the order banks. We're waiting for Dodge to go ahead and process it through and then to build it. So it may be a little bit later before you guys get an actual chance to see that, but that'll give us even more quality time with this 1971 Super B. I love the Super B. No, no big frills in here. Again, you get the big block, you get the four speed, you get the pistol grip, you get the eight and three quarter inch rear end. There's no power windows. There's, there's no tilt uh, column. There's no air conditioning.
<laughs> Lewis was just going to ask, does it have air conditioning? No, it's a classic Mopar. Classic Mopar muscle car, no air conditioning. Just your two windows it. down. Yeah, uh, I will show you guys. Uh, come back in here, PJ. I'm going to show you the Speedo. Of course, you got the 150 Speedo. And then you got the TAC. So it does have the rally gauges in here. And uh, red lines. Uh -huh. uh, you probably want to not go higher than 5,500 on this one. Oil, fuel, temp, and alternator over there. And this one, even though it came from the factory with an AM radio, the previous owner found a factory AM FM from the same year and they installed it. I don't know if the original AM is, is with it or not, and I don't know if we'll check the radio on another day on that. Will the Hell B be a regular Hellcat or a Red Eye Hellcat? It will not be a Red Eye. It weighs 717 horsepower. You need that other extra 100 horsepower. Well, this one has, well, in 71. Remember in 71, they started dumbing down all the, all the horsepower numbers, right? So I would think in earlier days, the 383 would be like 375 horse. Not in 71, it's rated in the 200s, so SAE net. How about, still an awfully cool uh, muscle car for you guys to enter to win. How do you do it? You go to dreamgiveaway.com, you use promo code Facebook Live or promo code YouTube, you get bonus tickets. And before I tell you more Charger news for today, I'm gonna to remind you that we also launched a Mach-E Dream Giveaway. Now I know you guys are been gas gas sipping since day one and you enjoy your your gas powered vehicles and so do i uh, for those of you who are looking for a daily driver with all the horsepower and none of the gas that Maki gt is 480 horsepower it's got bbs wheels on it uh, it is actually much cooler than you think if you haven't been in one maybe uh, take a test drive in one or see if you know somebody who has one they're fun as heck. They really are. So we started the Maki -E Dream Giveaway today. We started the Super B Dream Giveaway today. PJ. Uh, let's see. Joe says 330 horsepower, five down from 1970, I think. Five down, 330. Okay. I thought it was in the twos. 330 it is. I will remember that. Friday, speaking of chargers, we're going to have oh, a gentleman here from day. South Carolina right here in Dream Giveaway. Go ahead. Right. You see where that BMW is over there? Let's and then you can see the new Mach-E there. We'll show that to you later in the week. And then uh, Adam says you can get a hell, manual Hellcat in 23. We'll have to you take can. A look. Okay. Right. And then I'm going to call Dodge and see if we can move that order over to a, to a six-speed manual. Don't know if we can. Uh, with that being said, Friday, Charger 500 will be going home with the winner. And let me name off all the great Mopars that we have for you guys right now because we're kind of in a Mopar mood today. And see how Don Garlitz is kind of right behind you. Hi, Don. Big Daddy <laughs> Don back there. Uh, so we've got the Super B. We've got the new Hell B, the 2023 Hellcat. Hell B, that will be black with butterscotch accents. Going to look really good. And, and then we have the 71 Citroniella Demon 340. And we've still got the Hellcat. Uh, over there, PJ, you can spin around and show. I don't want to make everybody sick. Oh, yeah, it's over yeah, here in the corner. Yeah, Hellcat over there by the Rhino Classified sign. So we've got that, and we've got a Ram 3500. If you spin it back around there on the back side of the BMW, we've got 3500 HD Cummins Turbo Diesel. So if you wake up in the morning and you say it's Mopar or No Car Monday, <laughs> then we've got you covered here on the Dream and Joe Giveaway says garage. one more time, uh, Mopar went to net ratings in 72, but Chris, how do we get tickets? Once Thank again? you so much. 72 for net ratings, great. GM was 71, I believe. Uh, go to dreamgiveaway.com, use promo code uh, Facebook Live or promo code YouTube and get those bonus tickets. Uh, on the tab, this new giveaway will be called Super B. Again, Super B. somebody will win this 71, one year only, Big block, four speed, pistol grip, eight and three quarter rear end, Super B, plus a brand new 2023 Hellcat powered Hell B. It's a 101. We like doing that in the Dream Giveaway Garage. <laughs> Chris has been walking around the office all day saying Hell B, Hell B, Hell B, Hell B, Hell B. <laughs> there you go. And it's going, going, uh. going. <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, you enjoy the rest of your day. 
see some pictures of the Super B at dreamgiveaway.com. Get your entries for the Mach E as well, 480 horsepower. Mark your calendar for Friday at noon Eastern Daylight Time. We're going to be giving away the Charger 500. And above all, again, above all else, enjoy the rest of your day, and we will see you. 17. I'm outroing, and you're interrupting. I have to. Me. I have to interrupt your outro. <laughs> 17 days left on the F100. 17 days left on the F100. That's right. 427 dual quad. Maybe tomorrow we'll do the F100 and show people on it. And tomorrow, I'd like to show everyone the show and tow package. And we're going to show you how uh, the trailer, the lowering trailer from Futura Trailers, how you use a remote control, just like your TV, and it'll raise and lower it. It's so cool. All right. Can I outro now? Yeah, go for it. We'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> more great fun, more great action, more great grand prizes. It only happens here in our favorite place on Earth, the Dream Giveaway Garage. See you guys tomorrow. See you next time, everyone. <laughs>